Welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. This is our second video on core two integration and in this video we're talking about how to find the area under a curve. To start with, I just want to talk about these indefinite integrals that I've just introduced in video one. What's the point of these indefinite integrals? Well, it just so happens, and if you want to know why, you'll have to, uh, you, I'm not going to go into this in this video because um, I could explain it, it will take a while, I'm just going to show you the result and you can look this up, I think it's on page 174 of the book, but you can look it up elsewhere of why this is true, I have explained uh, this in another video in my website, but just for now, if you were trying to find, say you had this curve here and this curve was y, and say you were trying to find the area bound by, now this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, right? The area bound by the x-axis and the curve, i.e. this area here, we call it A. And let's say that, that this had an, this value here was x was equal to A and this here was x is equal to B. Say you were trying to find that area. It actually is true that this area that you're trying to find is the integral of your function between the definite integral between a and b with respect to x. That is a true statement. So if you're trying to find that area, it is the integral of the curve between the two points. So just for pure argument's sake, let's just draw another example, one we know, know and love well. Let's say we had the curve, um, this here, y equals x squared, that curve there. And let's say we were trying to find the area between, I don't know, x is 1 and x is 3, something like that. Say we're trying to find that area there between x is 1 and x is equal to 3. So we're trying to find this shaded area here. How would we do it? Well, the area would be the integral of our function, which is x squared, with respect to x, don't forget, between 1 and 3. And we know how to work out these things. This is the area would be equal to, we would integrate this and put square brackets around it, a third x cubed. Okay, between three and one. We would put three in it first. So we'd have a third, three cubed. We'd work that number out. Take away the answer when we put one in it, a third, one cubed. Like that. And we could work that out, that's 27 over 3, which is 9, and that's going to be 9 take away a third, which is going to be 8 and 2 thirds, like that. And just to, again, we will always prove to, and we can check that on the calculator the way I showed you in video 1, but 8 and 2 thirds would be the answer, and that would be equal to the green area. So indefinite integrals are going to be used to find the area bounded between the curve and the x-axis. So they find that's indefinite integrals, and find area bound between curve and x-axis. Okay, so that's what the point of this video is and that's what the point of a lot of the stuff we're gonna do in this chapter is. I suppose it's time to do some actual examples. So here we go. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve with that equation and the positive x and y axes. Right, whenever you do a question like this and it gives you one, that we have to draw it. So the first thing we're going to have to draw is we're going to have to draw that curve and then try and draw the area we're looking for. We're trying to draw the area second. Now, here's our curve. y is equal to 4 subtract x, x plus 2. Um, if you look at this, is it a, a, what type of equ uh, equation or graph is it? It's quadratic. That's the first thing we should be thinking. It's quadratic. Because when I multiply this negative x by this x, I'm going to get negative x squared. So in fact, also, it's a negative x squared. So is it a u or an n shape? It's going to be an n shape. Now, where are its roots? Well, its roots are when y is equal to 0. So we would solve 0 is 4 subtract x x plus 2 
and we would get that x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2. Do we need the y-intercept? Well, let's just find it for argument's sake. When x is equal to 0, if I put x is equal to 0 in here, I would get the y is 4 subtract 0, 0 multiplied by 0 plus 2, which is equal to 8. So let's draw this from all our working here. So let's try and draw this graph here. Where has it got its roots? We said it's got its roots at 4 and negative 2. So here's x is negative 2 here. And x is all the way to 4 here. It is a negative quadratic and it goes up to 8 like that. So it's going to look something like this. And that point there is going to be 0, 8. That's negative 2, 0. And that's 4, 0. We are trying to find the area R bounded by the curve and the positive x and y axis. So we're trying to look. Here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. We're trying to find this area here. We're not trying to find this area because it says that it's bound by the positive y and the positive x-axis. It's this area we're looking for here. So what integral are we going to do? Well, we're going to integrate this function with respect to x between x is 0, this one here, we, did, we don't want the whole area. If it just said the region bounded by uh, the area under the curve and the region bounded by the x-axis, it would be the whole thing. But because it says the positive x and y, we want this bit. So it's from x is 0 up to x is 4. Now, to um, integrate that, it's got to be an index form. We've got to multiply it out. Um, if we multiply it out, we're going to get negative x squared plus 2x plus 8, if we multiply that out, I'll let you do the working for that, between 0 and 4. And now we're going to integrate the thing, so we're going to put square brackets, we're going to add 1 to the power and divide, we're going to add 1 to the power and divide, and we're going to add an x in there, between 0 and 4. We can tidy that up, that's negative a third x cubed plus x squared plus 8x between 0 and 4. So we're going to put 4 in first. 4, cu uh, four cubed is 64. And we're going to have 64 divided by 3. And this is going to be ne negative 64 over 3, when we're putting 4 in, plus 16 plus 32. Take away the answer when you put 0 in, which is clearly 0. All we've got to do is type that in our calculator. Ne negative 64 over 3. And we're going to say plus 16 plus 32. And we're going to get our answer 80 uh, over 3. So we get the answer 80 over 3 as our area. OK. So let's get the calculator out and check if we haven't made a mistake. We are integrating. OK between bracket 4, subtract x, close bracket, open bracket, x, add 2, close bracket. Between, we said x is 0 and x is 4. Let the calculator do its business and you get 84 over 3. We know we've done it correctly. OK, one more example. Example 2. This time, we are trying to find the region R enclosed by this curve here and the x-axis and the lines x is 1 and x is 3. Now it's harder to draw that curve, we don't actually know what that curve looks like, but because there's no funny business and we are told the x values we are integrating between, we are told here, in the previous question here you were just said bound by various axes, so you had to find this point and this point here you're told you want the area under this curve between 1 and 3. Simple as that. So the area, R, is going to be the integral between 1 and 3 of x squared plus 4. We're going to write this straight away in index form, x to the negative 2 with respect to x. Then I can integrate. Add 1 to the power and divide, a third x cubed. Add 1 to the power and divide, so plus 4 over negative 1, x to the negative 1 between 1 and 3, just tidy that up, a third x cubed, subtract 4x and negative 1, 
between 3 and 1. We're going to substitute in 3, so this is going to be a third, 3 cubed, which is 27, take away 4, x to the negative 1 is a third, so take away 4 thirds. Take away the answer when I put in 1, so I'll get a third, take away 4. All I've got to do is type that in my calculator, so I'm going to just say brackets, at, well 27 times a third, I know that's 9, take away 4 thirds, close brackets, subtract the answer, if I do a third, subtract 4, I get 34 over 3. And I'm always going to just tap that in the calculator and see if that's actually true. The calculator using its integration mode. So the integral of, um, I'm going to write it like the original question, x squared plus fraction 4 over x squared between 1 and 3. 34 over 3, I know I'm right. And I've checked the answer and I know it's done. So hopefully that was useful for you for finding the area uh, using indefinite integrals. Thanks very much for watching.